Many of us in this world are struggling to get something. Many people are struggling to do and to get. But the real thing that makes people to be successful is that people should strive and struggle to become. Because when you become, you will naturally be able to do what you are and you'll be able to get. What you become is what attracts the blessing to your life. And that is why the Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 15, it says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the, the word of truth. Good morning and welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. This is the daily broadcast that God inspired me to send in order to bring healing to you, spirit, soul, and body and also to encourage you and to motivate you. This message comes your way in order to strengthen you and empower you through the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. And I believe the power of God will run through you as you hear the sound of my voice this morning. The power of God will overshadow you and make a way for you where there seem to be no way. In the name of Jesus. God Almighty, we come to your rescue at every danger point of your life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Now this morning, I just want to speak on this topic to encourage you. Strive to become. And I, I'm going to take this uh, message maybe two or three days. Now, strive to become. You see, many times people want to do something or get something. But you really will get and do things naturally when you first of all become. Now, what do I mean? Let me start by giving you this illustration. If you take an apple or let's say a grape or an orange, if you squeeze it, if you let's let's take for instance let's take the orange if you squeeze the orange what are you gonna get out of this orange you're gonna get orange juice nothing but orange juice why because that is what the orange is made of it's made up of orange juice that is what it is and I'll, it doesn't matter when you squeeze it maybe when you squeeze it in the morning in the afternoon or in the night it will always bring out orange juice and it doesn't matter who squeeze it maybe your grandmother squeeze it it is gonna bring out orange juice maybe the president of your nation squeezes it it's still gonna bring out orange juice whoever squeeze it the same result is gonna uh, uh, you know become because that orange has nothing in it. There is no chance of that orange to bring out mango juice. There is no chance for that orange to bring out, you know, grape juice. Because it is not made of grape. It is an orange. And so that is what it naturally produces. It doesn't, you know, matter the circumstance in which you squeeze that orange. It will always bring out an orange juice. And this is why, you see, you cannot make that orange to become any other thing because that is its nature. That is what it is. It has become an orange and it will always produce an orange juice. Now, this is just an illustration for you. You need to become, and this is why there are two things I see in the Bible. The, the first thing I want you to understand is that strive to become a blessing rather than to become blessed. You see, it is good to be blessed because when you are blessed, you have the money, you have the house, maybe you have your wife and children, you have what you need. You are blessed. It's good. But you see, I am saying to you this morning, strive to become a blessing rather than to be blessed because when you are a blessing, you will naturally be blessed because when you are a blessing, that means that you are blessing other people. If that is the first thing you want to become in your life, you want to become a blessing. No matter what happens to you, blessing will come out of you. When they threaten you, you will bless them. When they look down on you, you will bless them. When they backbite you, you will bless them. You see, when they attack you, you will bless them. Because that is who you are. You are a blessing. You see, no matter who angers you what comes out of you is blessing because that is who you are 
You see, you have gone beyond being somebody who wants to be blessed. Because right now, if you just want to be blessed, you don't take shit. You are a goal getter. You just want that thing. You see, but when you are a blessing, you are naturally gentle. When you are a blessing, you want to see the good in everything. Even when they criticize you, you don't attack back. You bless them. You follow the word of the master. He said, he said, pray for them that hate you. You know, he said, you should pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. You see, that is you are a blessing. They are cursing you, but you are blessing them. They are wishing you bad, but you are wishing them good. Because you are a blessing. Seek to become a blessing. This is what God sent me this morning and is a proverb. You must seek to become a blessing. And that is why our Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 5, He said, Be ye perfect, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. People are going to threaten you. They are going to backbite you. They are going to slight you. They are going to, you know, do things that you don't like. They are going to disapprove of you. But you need to bless them. Bless, you must be a blessing. You know, oozing out blessings, sending out blessing, projecting blessing, radiating blessing, touching people with blessing, touching them with smiles. And when you are a blessing, you will naturally attract you know, the blessing to your life. When you wish every other people well, you will naturally get it back because what you sow is what you reap. That is a law of life. So this morning, God is asking me to tell you, go out there blessing people, smiling to people, encouraging people, speaking nice to them. And when they criticize you, don't allow anger to come out because when anger come out, that is not you. You are not the anger. You see, and let me tell you, nobody can bring out of you what is not in you. If they, if they, if they, if they anger you or they make you angry or somebody can talk to you that will make you to flare up, that means that it is not that person. That means that thing is in you. You cannot bring out of you what is not in you. So if you are always bringing out anger, if you are always bringing out curses, cursing people and wishing people evil, wishing people to fall down, wishing people to die, if that is your thing, that is what is in you and you need to change. You need to understand that you are a child of God. You are a blessing to your generation. You are not a curse to your generation. You are a blessing to the people around you. You are not a curse to those people. So when these things are coming out of you, anger, threats, you know, hatred, malice, uh, maybe jealousy and envy, these are the things that are coming out of you. Something is wrong with you. You need to right the wrong. You need to now begin to study to show yourself approved unto God. Because when those things come out of you, anger, envy, jealousy, malice, hatred, when these are coming out of you, you are not going to be approved of God. It's a study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman. That means you need to work on yourself. It's something you need to work on. You need to work on it. Work on your anger. Work on your jealousy. Work on keeping malice with people. Work on, you know, hatred. Work on these things. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. This is the message God sent me to you this morning, and I know you have heard this. Work on yourself. Try to work on yourself to become the blessing that God sent you here to become. Every man that God sent to this world is sent to be a blessing to his world. You are a blessing to your world. You are a blessing to your generation. You are a blessing to your family. You are a blessing to your community. You are a blessing to your nation. Begin to bring out the blessing unto those people. Even when they hate you, bless them. When they curse you, bless them. When they backbite you, curse them. I mean, bless them. Always bless. Don't curse. Don't curse. This is the word of the Lord. Curse is of the devil. 
blessing is of God. You are a child of God. Let blessing come out of you and it shall be well with you. Thank you so much. This is the message. I know you have had this. Send this to your friends and loved ones. Get them blessed. And if someone sent this to you, you love this kind of message. You want to listen to this every day and you are on WhatsApp, then save my number which I prevail. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save that number right now and go to your WhatsApp. WhatsApp me say add me. And from tomorrow you begin to receive messages like this. If you got this on YouTube and Facebook, subscribe and put on the notification so that when this is released every day, you'll be notified and you can listen. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. May the Lord bless you, prosper you, and make you to become a blessing to your world. In Jesus' name. This is Joseph Adenuga signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.